Hey everyone, this is Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're testing out a brand new antenna. All right, everyone, so before we move to our new QTH, we bought this, uh, I don't know if you can see it up there, the MFJ, I think it was, uh, you know, it's been so long, I can't remember what we bought now, but it's the MFJ 20 meter ham stick dipole and i got it up one two three four five of the princess auto 10 pole section so up 20 feet in the air um and it's attached to an old antenna uh, uh connector or antenna support that i had uh and it's up there uh probably probably sitting about 22 feet right now so i want to test this thing and see if it'll actually make a good pota antenna so the mfj i'll show you guys uh let's do a flashback to be actually putting this all together so these uh these ends of the uh ham sticks uh screw in to these connectors here this is for the coax and then there's another one on the other side here they yeah they actually stand out quite a bit so there is a bit of a uh what's that curve in the antenna so uh you make you gotta make sure you have lots of room we got a whole parking lot here to ourselves today yeah so they just connect in just like so and the coax goes in here pretty straightforward isn't it yeah, it's not hard. All right, so there it is up in the air. Uh, 20 feet in the air. It's not 100% straight, but that's okay. But it'll, uh, it's point, we got a kind of east-west facing. So let's get the radio hooked up. We'll see how it goes. So it is quite a hefty antenna. I think uh, each side of it, it expands out five, uh, five, three to four feet section. So it's quite a large antenna. We'll do some, uh, I'll get some specs here, put them right here. And you guys can check it out for yourself. But uh, we're we'll actually going to see if this thing actually works. And see if we'll actually use a, work on a POTA activation. Now today the bands are not that great. So it'll be a really good test to see if it works. I'm not entirely sure how directional this thing is. So we got to kind of go in east-west right now. Um, and let's see if it actually works. Again, all the testing here before we all go out in the field. So I'm here in the uh, home shack. I got it hooked onto my FT uh, DX10 here. Let's see if we actually hear some signals. And it, it, this one's only 20 meters. The band's pretty quiet. That's not too abnormal. So yeah, it's not abnormal for 20 meters to kind of suck this time of day here where we're at right now. Check the POTA page and see if there's anybody there that we'll get on spots and see if we can contact uh, anybody who's spotted right now. So that uh, lighter signal, that's uh, Victor Echo 5, Yankee Alpha Kilo in Saskatchewan. Let's see if we can get a hold of them. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Yeah, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, thanks uh, for the report. Uh, you're about a five and three, five and three. I'm testing a brand new 20 meter dipole. How does it sound, over? Okay, so I lost you in the QSB there. Seven three, thanks for the contact. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Fox, Stride Moncton. All right, so we're able to get into that Victor Echo 5 uh, off the DFT DX10 running 100 watts off that uh, MFJ antenna. I'm gonna go on DX Engineering where I bought it and actually tell you exactly what I got here. Cause I'm, uh, I'm curious now. All right, so the antenna that we got is the MFJ Mini Dipole MFJ 2240. Now, I know MFJ is uh, closing down or ceasing operations, so I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. As of today on DX Engineering, they have two in stock. So far, so good. Uh, SWR, I need the tuner unless you wanna adjust your, uh, the lengths of the uh, telescopic whip ends of the ham stick. Um, I just extended them full and just ran the antenna tuner and it seemed to uh, work fine. I mean, I know you're tricking the antenna for the impedance on the antenna, but uh, you know what? It's better than taking it down and fiddling around uh, adjusting lengths. It seems to work for a pot operation of you know, a couple of hours. This is gonna work great. I probably wouldn't run this on a static installation, but for going out in the field, this antenna seems to work good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna package everything up and then we're gonna go to Parley Beach, Charlie Alpha 0777 today. And we're gonna actually do a real field test from the field tonight after dinner. So let's uh, pack everything up and head out to the field. All right, everyone, here we are at uh, Charlie Alpha 0792, Parley Beach. And the last time we were here, it was freezing cold, if you remember. Hey, 
Stay in the car. Uh, King Archie's got his hair cut there. Look at how it's come out. Anyway, last time we were here, it was freezing cold. And uh, now it's beautiful. 20 degrees Celsius is an awesome day. I gotta put Archie back in the truck here. All right, so we're gonna uh, set up the uh, the MFJ 20 meter hamstick dipole today. We did test it back at the house. It worked great, uh, even with horrible band conditions that we have today. Let's see if the band conditions get better. Let's get this thing uh, fired up. One of our past uh, activations we did in that parking lot over there, and we uh, strung up the end fed half wave into those trees. That was a pretty good activation, if I remember correctly here. We're about uh, 500 or so QSOs from a kilo here, so we're not gonna do it today. But uh, it's not nice. There's, we'll be here once, at least once a month because of the rack challenge. We've got two lighthouses here and a park. So, uh, yeah, I've got three multipliers just at this event here, uh, this, uh, this location. And it is a bit, on the bree a bit on the breezy side. Not terribly windy, but just on the breezy side. We're going to use our paracord here just to secure down the, uh, the mast so it doesn't flop all over the place. Or the uh, Princess Auto tent poles so they don't flop all over the place. Everything turned, tuned up perfectly with the antenna tuner and the 20-meter... Uh, uh, MFJ hamstick dipole. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? CQ Parks on the air. 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 Victor Echo 9. Charlie Foxtrot. CQ Parks on the air. Alpha Alpha 4. Bravo Zulu. Alpha Alpha 4. Bravo Zulu. Good signal. 5 and 9. 5 and 9 here also, my brother. Good deal, Stuart. Yeah, Roger, Roger. We got a new antenna we're testing out today. We got a 20 meter hamstick dipole. It's our first activation with it. Must, uh, seems to be working well. Amen to that, brother. It sure is. I'm working on a uh, putting a uh, uh, a uh, old high Sierra mount together with some uh, the Faraday cloth down uh, to make my first part activation here soon. Over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Yeah, my my lesson: keep it simple. This antenna cost me like a hundred bucks, so uh, keep my my advice: keep it simple. That's what I'm doing. Everything I've that. that all I had to buy was the uh, was the Faraday cloth, and that that didn't cost much at all. No, it's pretty cheap. All right, seven three, my friend. Then good to get you in the log again. Seven three, good luck. Victor Echo nine, Charlie Foxtrot, CQ Parks on the air. Alpha Charlie four, Alpha Alpha Foxtrot zero, Alpha Foxtrot. Whiskey three, Alpha Alpha Bravo. Echo Alpha four, Tango Lima. Echo Alpha four, Tango Lima five and nine. Bye-bye, Louis. 7-3, uh, my friend. The Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, Seeky Parks on the air. Kilo Foxtrot 0, Kilo, Kilo, Charlie. Go one, the red rock. Got the red rock. Take a flying hotel, and I'll help you to here. Echo Alpha 9, Lima Sierra. Echo Alpha 9, Lima Sierra, 5-9. Okay, thank you. Also, please, 5-9 for you, and not up. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. 7-3, my friend. Thank you. Good luck, 7-3. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, Seeky Parks on the air. Lima Yankee 5, Oscar. Lima Yankee 5, Oscar, 5 and 9. QSL, 59, beautiful female, thank you. Yeah, what's the QTH? Uh, Conus, Conus, Kilo Alpha United, November, Alpha Santiago. And you are activating few lighthouses, QSL. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I'm at two lighthouses right now, uh... Uh, Charlie Alpha November 397 and Charlie Alpha November 713. Thank you very much for that house activation. Have fun. Uh, see you later, my friend. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, CQ Poda, and Lighthouses on the Air. To Washington, Zero, Delta, Singapore. This is Oscar Kilo, Ryan Yankee, Charlie. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Zulu. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Zulu. Uh, well, you're 5 and 9, uh, Peter, just down the coast from you. Sounds good, my friend. Hope all, all's well. Everything going great. Excellent. 7-3, my friend. Good to get you in the log. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. CQ Parks on the air. Well, the 20-meter uh, hamstick dipole is two thumbs up. So far, so good. Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. CQ Parks on the air. We got Lithuania, Venezuela, UK, uh, usual Spaniards. So we're doing pretty good. So this is a pretty busy park, because it's a provincial park, and it's on the beach, and all kinds of people drive by and stare at you. Don't you love that when that happens? All right, we just had a special visitor, V9 Charlie Zulu, stop by to say hi. Hey, Peter, nice to meet you, finally, face to face. All right, well, what a busy night. 190 some odd queues in the book. What a beautiful sky, eh? Look at the sun setting to the west, or to the south, or west there. Uh, 
I don't think my, I don't know if the antennas were set up right. Anyway, we got 190 QSOs in the book. It was awesome. Where's Archie going? Anyway, um, yeah, this uh, new antenna. What a, what a beautiful antenna. I'll tell you, band conditions were awful today when we were testing it at home. Come here and they're very good. Good uh, good shape tonight. So anyway, 190 QSOs in the book uh, using our new MFJ uh, 20 meter hamstick antennas, uh, dipole. Uh, very, very good. Can't complain at all. And I gotta get set up. I gotta set up to go home and Archie's over there doing whatever. Here, come on, get over here. Archie, Archie, get over here. Look at him with his new haircut. I mean, Archie's doing his, uh, his show here with his new haircut. Come on, come on. You know you're not supposed to be running around the provincial park like that on your own. Come on, get in the truck. Let's go. You're not supposed to be running around. Look at that new haircut. You don't you look good? Hey, King. Hey, Archie, say out of your fans. Looks good with a new haircut. In the truck. Get in the truck. In the truck. Yeah, so this antenna is a little bit more heavier to move down than some of the other ones, but it's a good little antenna. I am very, very pleased with this thing. So yeah, that's that's all, all that's all connected right there. Super, super pleased with this uh, antenna. So I got it on my uh, my Princess Auto tent poles, and I got this antenna piece or mast piece or tower piece I had left over, and just hooked it onto the Princess Auto tent poles, and I got that on there. 135 Canadian dollars. It worked great. Worked great. Again, I told somebody today, uh, Poda. Keep it simple. This little antenna, whoa, what a, what a, I, it is, it is almost, almost at par with the NFED half wave. The NFED half wave is a bit better, but this thing, I think it's gonna maybe go over the BB7V and some, I got three antennas now I carry with me. They're all four very unique situations. This one's perfect today because of the situation. We're in a wide open parking lot. And I want horizontal. I don't want to go vertical. It worked great because I don't have anywhere to tie off the NFED half wave. So it works good. Okay, we gotta tear it I gotta get out of here before that sun goes down. Oh, well, there's a quick brown fox jumped over the lazy cow's back. Is that how it goes? Uh, you were lucky you weren't out there. You missed that fox. Yeah, you missed the fox. By the way, it's the quick brown fox jumped over the lady, lazy dog's back. If I remember right from my typing classes, that's the way it goes, not the lazy cow's back. Okay, we're almost out of here, almost packed up. It only took five minutes to tear down. So yeah, not bad at all. Well, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna say anything because some of you guys bought BB7Vs off my my recommendation. Still a great antenna. Again, every antenna's got its own purpose. This one has its own uh, purpose. A big wide open parking lot like this. We got nobody nowhere to tie off an infed half wave. That antenna works great for this situation. That's why we came here to test it. All right, we're all uh, torn down, ready to go home. Make sure we got the uh, trailer hitch bumper off. Yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Thanks for uh, you guys that subscribed to the channel. And thanks for you guys putting up with me. I know these uh, these YouTube videos are not the most technical or the most polished or, but you get me in my true authentic self. I don't try to sugarcoat it with a bunch of BS and you know make you guys like me. Either you like them or you don't. Hope you do. Don't forget to smash that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys in a future video. I don't know when we'll get out next, but we'll get out sometime this week, probably up Mirror Mishiwe again. Don't remember I mentioned the video. I think I did, but th we activated two lighthouses there as well. There's one right there, uh, just on the other side of that uh, restaurant there. You might be able to see the top of it. And the other one is right over here. Uh, I don't know which one is which. One is front and one is rear. But uh, these are the two lighthouses that we activated today as well as part of this po uh, POTA location. Charlie Alpha 0792 and Victor Echo Fox Fox 0792 as part of the Worldwide Flora and Fauna Group. Okay, I'm out of here. 7-3, everyone.